Hello beautiful people and welcome back to yet another beautiful tutorial. Today we're going to be making this beautiful play button. But before that, kindly don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like, comment and share. And let's get right into it. So we begin by printing out our um, pattern sheet. This uh, is where we're going to draw and sketch our play button from so if you haven't watched the video where we did a tutorial on how to use this sheet kindly check it out the link will be in the description below but basically what i'm doing here is i'm just shading the outline of this um key holder of the youtube play button which will have a length of 15 heads and a width of 11 um, heads so this heads are 15 and then the the width will be 11 heads if this is the first time you're coming across this channel and you'd love to learn beading um, kindly check our playlist we have um, slower paced uh, versions of uh, tutorials where you can easily learn if you're a beginner but this specific video is meant for uh, someone who is more advanced someone who has done the previous uh, tutorials and would love to make this new pattern so we are going to go and see how you do this so this is how i came about to design the play button so i just sketched um it's using the length and the width of the key holder that i wanted i found the center point and drew the play button so that's going to be my outline and um, the materials that i'll require for this uh, specific project uh, this key ring um, because it's going to be a key holder okay so i'll need a nail cutter or a pair of scissors for cutting the uh, fishing line um, you're also going to require a flat piece of plastic uh, like this or any uh, piece of plastic that you can find that will fit in the center of the key holder so that it's rigid and also you're going to need uh, seed beads I'm going to be using red and white beads the white will be for the play button and also silver beads that I'll use where I'm going to hook the uh, ring and also i'm going to use the 0 0.30 millimeters fishing line that we use as the material for binding the uh, beads instead of using a string we use the fishing line so well we start by pouring our beads onto our working plate and mostly because we're going to be using the red in plenty so we are going to pour all the red beads here and also a bit of white beads that we are going to use for the center play button and then we begin we just use the normal uh, right angle weave pattern that we've been using in our previous videos where we begin by placing three beads at the right or the left and then we add the final uh, fourth bead which is a red bead and then we crisscross and balance the fishing line and pull where we have our first star that looks like this this is something that we've done over and over again so i'm going to uh, go a little bit faster here so as you can see we have done the very first column and uh, we are going to do a corner and repeat uh, so the first column comes with the first head remember the length of this row is going to be of 15 and the length of the column which is the width will be of 11 heads so we are going to repeat this um, pattern until our column uh, goes until the center where we're going to add the white bit so this is basically to show you the procedure that goes into making um, a key a beaded key holder 
uh, you first draft it onto like paper and um, then you start working on it and generally it took us roughly uh, four to six hours uh, to make this but if you are a bit faster you can do it uh, with lesser time it depends with your experience and also if you're an amateur it will definitely take you a longer time but it's it's something worth trying and um, the end result looks very beautiful i really loved it and um, i hope you are able to make one of yours too if you'd love also to have this uh, uh, pattern paper I can send you a copy of the PDF. Kindly reach out to me. The contact information is down on the description below where you can be able to WhatsApp me so I can sh share with you the PDF where you can print it out and also do your own sketches. Uh, this paper has, really helps uh, come up with new designs because you can think of anything, uh, sketch it out before you actually uh, do it and um i repeat if you are an, a beginner and you'd love to do this if this is the very first time you're trying out beadwork kindly go to our playlist where you can be able to see more elaborate uh step-by-step -step tutorials on where we uh, teach you as a beginner we have them on our playlist and if you have already been practicing beadwork then this is something that will help maybe up your uh, creativity game or even show you another version of what you could be doing so as you can see we have been able to create the play button uh, it's um, almost uh, it's almost done here and the beauty about this is it's just based on only two colors which is the red uh, which is dominant on the youtube play button and the white which is at the center the center triangle that uh, represents the youtube logo and um, i felt i was inspired by this logo and felt uh, i could try it out and um, the end results were beautiful so once you're done with the first uh, section you repeat and make the second part because um, it's a two-sided um, artwork so you work on the second part so that you can have two pieces like this um, to make a very uh, nice and um, thick uh, key holder that will also be a strong one and um, if you would love maybe a better a step by step tutorial on um, beading kindly you can also reach out to me I also have private classes where I have more lengthy uh, videos where we can get to go step by step and teach you on how to do this beautiful craft i'm really grateful for all the feedback that you guys have been giving me and um, it really motivates me also you can check our playlists uh, where i've been doing lately the samples of our artworks where i get to show you a, a wide variety of different patterns and different concepts that we have and um, it really uh, has helped other people to see the diversity of um, beading because maybe other people just think that beading is for bracelets but on the samples uh, segment where I've done the playlists um, you, which is a short uh, version of where you get to see um, videos that are not more than two minutes but you get to see different variety of artwork so what we are doing here is we are combining the two pieces into one piece that will be a three-dimensional um, key holder. I really hope that um, this tutorial got to show you um, part of the way 
we go about when making a key holder and i look forward to seeing what you guys have been able to make from this i i'm looking forward to seeing at least something that resembles this from you guys i would love to let you guys know that i have introduced private classes that are more comprehensive slower and step by step and guidance is provided so you'll find the link to how you the contact details on how you can reach out to me so that uh, we can make arrangements of uh, your private classes so as you can see here we have managed to make um, both the two sides and then the edges we have also sealed them with the red beads so now what we are doing here is we are inserting the plastic uh, bit into the center like that uh, you just make sure you cut it out uh, nicely and uh, once it fits in it makes sure that this um, key, key holder is going to be firm and rigid and it won't be uh, swaying all over so uh, once you've done that we seal the ends like this uh, using one bead and then you crisscross on it until you reach the top so you crisscross like that and then you put the fishing line through the right side the left side and then you add one bead and crisscross uh, this is just the same procedure that, that we've been doing over and over in the previous tutorials you can uh, check them out on the uh, playlist that we have also occasionally kindly pass by the community tab where you can be able to see more of our upcoming uh, projects or some of the products that you guys have been able to do uh, feel free to interact with us there where you can tell us what you'd like to see next and um, i'm really also thankful for all the feedback that you guys have been giving all the love kindly don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and um, also don't forget to leave a like and please comment let us know what you think of uh, these tutorials or the previous ones and what you'd love to see us improve on or um, what you'd love to see us make next as i have told you guys over and over again um, beading is something that requires quite some patience uh, you really need to be patient and uh, uh, believe that um, step by step uh, bead by bead you're going to make it and as you can see our youtube play button really looks amazing the red uh, pops and the white center the play uh, really stands out and here what we are doing is we are adding the silver bit of it and uh, i can even technically call this a uh, uh, silver youtube play button hopefully one day we're going to get there and get our own uh, silver youtube play button so kindly don't forget to hit that subscribe button and help us get to that goal of a hundred thousand subscribers and um as you can see we've been able to manage to make this beautiful uh youtube uh, button key holder i really am thankful for you guys i really hope you don't forget to hit the subscribe button hit the like button comment and share this video